Hi guys, Sandra here of the blog with SensibleMom.com and today I'm sharing another grocery haul with you. This time my husband went to three stores. He went to Costco, Trader Joe's, and Meyer, and I'm going to show you what he brought home. Okay, so first up I'm going to show you guys what my husband brought home from Costco. He spent right around $100 and he picked up two bags of organic tortilla chips. And then he also picked up a bag of these organic barbecue potato chips, which we will put away until later on this month when we celebrate my son Nathan's birthday. We're very excited about that. He wants to have hamburgers for his birthday meal and we'll get the meat for that later this month. But since Ruben was at Costco today, he decided to go ahead and pick up the chips to go with his birthday meal. And then right over here, he picked up this three pack of cucumbers. And over here, he picked up two big bags of organic frozen strawberries. And of course, we'll use these for smoothies. And then back here, my kids are going to be very excited because he picked up this 24 count box of Outshine Fruit Bars. They're going to love those. And also back here, we have two big bags of pineapple chunks that we'll use for smoothies. And then we also just like to um, take this, take pineapple out of the freezer and just eat it um, as a snack. It's delicious that way too. And then right here, he picked up four dozen organic eggs. And right here, he picked up a bag of our favorite Tortilla Land flour tortillas because we are totally out and uh, needed some more of those. And then right here, he grabbed this six pack of sweet bell peppers. And then he picked up a two count pack of organic butter. And then finally, he brought home this organic yellow squash and zucchini. And we're gonna be using these veggies to make veggie kebabs outside on the grill for one meal and then we're also going to use them to make some veggie lasagna. So that's everything my husband brought home from Costco. Now I'm going to show you what he brought home from Trader Joe's. Okay so at Trader Joe's my husband spent around a hundred dollars and he picked up three bags of organic russet potatoes and I will use one of these bags to make mashed potatoes for our family because I have some gravy in the pantry that I want to use and then the other two bags will probably be used to make like breakfast burritos or breakfast tacos or uh, Ruben also likes to take a bag of potatoes, peel them and dice them up and cook them in some olive oil with some spices and uh, we love to enjoy them that way as well. So that might happen too. I don't really have a plan for all three bags but they will be eaten. And then over here he picked up seven bags of organic popcorn for me because I'm running low and don't have a stock in the pantry at the moment. I have it all in like a Tupperware container and that's not even full so I always like to keep um, a good stock on hand in the pantry. So he picked up seven bags of popcorn for me and then he also picked up some bananas for snacking on or smoothies. And then right here he picked up some basil that we're going to use for the veggie lasagna. And we still have some salsa, some Trader Joe's salsa left from the last Trader Joe's haul. But uh, we only have like a jar, maybe a jar and a half left. So he grabbed some more today, he grabbed two jars. And then I just made the last bag of spaghetti for my kids today for lunch. So we are out. And uh, so I had Ruben pick up seven more bags today. So the seven bags of spaghetti here. And then he picked up 10 bags of the egg noodle pasta because we always seem to run out of the egg noodle pasta well before we run out of the other pastas. And um, so I just decided to go ahead and have him get some extra today. So he picked up 10 bags instead of our usual five or six. And then right here he picked up three cans of our favorite whipped cream. And then he picked up three bags of mozzarella cheese because we're almost out. And then right here he picked up some organic celery for snacking on. And back here he picked up some shredded hash browns. We like to keep these in the freezer. And over here he picked up some lasagna noodles for our veggie lasagna. And then right here we have some pepperoni to make some pepperoni quesadillas with. Now I typically do not buy pepperoni just for that. This is the first time we've ever done that. I usually will make pepperoni quesadillas for my kids. And I know that sounds kind of weird but they just really love it um, because we one day we had some leftover pepperoni and I was like, uh, okay, what am I going to do with this? So I added some to some quesadillas and my kids just loved it. And so every time we have leftover pepperoni from when I uh, make pizzas, that is how we use it. 
So since I'm not planning on making pizzas though in the near future, I am just going to use this to make quesadillas with. I don't usually buy pepperoni specifically for that reason, but I decided to just go ahead and have my husband pick this up today because we really love the pepperoni um, from Trader Joe's. It's really good quality. So I thought my kids would enjoy that. So I had him grab this pack today. And then he grabbed a four pack of avocados. And then finally he picked up a pack of organic tomatoes. So this is everything my husband brought home from Trader Joe's. Now I'm gonna show you what he picked up from Meyer. Okay, so at Meyer, my husband spent a little over $50 and he picked up two boxes of saltine crackers. We like to have these on hand when we make vegetarian chili and we will be doing that very soon. And then he also picked up three bags of dry beans. He picked up black beans, kidney beans, and pinto beans. We will use all three varieties in the vegetarian chili. And then he also picked up some tomato juice for the chili and all the other ingredients we already have on hand in the pantry. So that's all we needed for the chili. And then he picked up two packs of corn tortillas because we're almost out. He grabbed four packs of the mini Bella mushrooms for the veggie kebabs that we'll be making on the grill soon. And then he picked up this three pack of portobello grill caps that we will also be making on the grill. These are really delicious and really juicy. And he only picked up a three pack because my kids, um, don't exactly love portobello mushrooms on the grill like we do so this will be for Ruben and I and if you guys haven't tried grilling these you really should give it a try because these are really really delicious and um, and make a great alternative to steak on the grill they are really juicy and really yummy so I am looking forward to having these soon and then over here he picked up a bag of Halo's oranges for snacking on the last bag that we got lasted about two days so we'll see how long this one lasts. And then he picked up some more bananas for snacking on or for smoothies or breakfast in the morning. And he grabbed some green onions to garnish our chili with. And then over here, he picked up six jars of the Meyer Organics Traditional Pasta Sauce. I've showed you guys this before. This is our favorite pasta sauce and we needed to replenish our stock because uh, we just opened up the last one in the pantry today. And then finally, the last thing that he picked up from Meyer is this bag of organic apples. So this is everything that my husband brought home from Meyer. Again, he spent a little bit over $50. And now I'm going to show you some yummy pizzas that we picked up yesterday while we were out and about. All right, so while we were out, we stopped off and picked up these four Smart Flower Foods pizzas. They all look so delicious. This is cheese and we got two pepperoni. And then we also got this margarita pizza because the folks that work with Smart Flower Foods actually gave me four coupons to try out their pizzas. So we are excited about having these for lunch today. As you can see, they are gluten-free and they don't have any artificial ingredients, which is wonderful. If you guys are interested in trying these out, I'm gonna put the link for Smart Flower Foods down in the, in the description box below, and you can uh, take a look at their website, put your zip code in there, and find out where you can find these in your area. And the really cool thing is that a lot of, the, uh, a lot of restaurants actually use Smart Flower Foods pizza crusts. I'll show you guys here. So I pulled up the Smart Flower Foods website here on my phone and as you can see Giordano's restaurants actually use their pizza crusts in their restaurants and that is pretty neat and a whole lot of other restaurants do as well and uh, so all you have to do is put your zip code in the little box there and then it'll let you know where you can find Smart Flower Foods pizzas or their pizza crusts um, in stores or in restaurants so that is pretty neat. So like I said, we are looking forward to having these for lunch today and I am going to be making all four of these to feed my family of seven. All right, so now I want to show you guys some new beauty products that have recently come into my home and that I have been using. Now, all of these products were sent to me through Octoly. I mentioned Octoly in another video, but basically it's a program where if you create YouTube videos where you share about beauty products or if you have a beauty channel, I obviously don't have a total beauty channel, but I do share about beauty products and share reviews and things like that, then you can sign up with them to have products shipped to your home. 
where you can that you can review and share your honest opinion on so i am going to talk about all five of these products today and i can tell you right off the bat that four of them i love and one of them i do not okay so first up i want to talk about the wet n wild photo focus setting spray this setting spray is cruelty free which i love and now I don't really have anything to compare it to because this is the first setting spray that I've ever owned. I actually didn't, I actually didn't know that setting sprays were popular or a thing until I started watching beauty videos on YouTube. And since I have been watching those videos, I wanted to get some setting spray for quite a while, but I just hadn't. So when this came available in the Octoly store, I asked to review it and I was very excited that they sent this to me. So. Overall, I am very pleased with the setting spray. It keeps my makeup, my makeup in place and it's just really light and it has a nice scent to it and I love it. So I am going to use it and it is a product that I would definitely, definitely buy on my own. Okay, so next up is the Walita Lavender Body Oil and this is just so nice. I'm using it after I take a shower. I just put it on my skin. You want to put it on damp skin and it is just so lovely it smells like the lavender essential oil so if you like that smell and or you like the lavender essential oil i think you'll like this body oil it is wonderful just to put on at night after a shower it makes your skin feel all nice and soft and i'm just loving it okay next up is the burt's bees bb cream with nani extract and you guys, I wanted to love this, but unfortunately I do not. For me, this product is just okay. I'm actually wearing it today and I have been wearing it over and over and over again just to be able to give you guys a really honest review. And I can say that I do not love this over my regular BB cream, the one that I've been using for years, which is the Aveeno Clear Complexion BB cream. I was totally ready to switch brands because I love Burt's Bees products. I use their lip balm multiple times a day. So do my family members. That is one of the products that we buy again and again and again when we are out. Uh, my husband is, you know, shopping for more Burt's Bees lip balm. And any other products that we've tried from Burt's Bees, we've loved. We've had no issues whatsoever. So I wasn't expecting not to like this, but I, I don't, I just don't love it. It's just okay for me. I'll use it until it runs out. But then when it runs out and I need to buy more BB cream, I'm just going to go back to my regular brand. So I think it just didn't work for my skin type. I tend to have dry skin and it just didn't work well with my skin at all. So this is not a product that I will be repurchasing. If you tend to have uh, more oily skin, this might work for you. But um, unfortunately for me, it just didn't work out. But like I said, I'm going to use it until it runs out and then I'm going to go back to my old brand. Next up is this Wet n Wild Coverall Primer and i love this stuff it's actually better than the one that i had been using and i don't even i can't recall the brand of the one that i had been using because it was given to me as a gift and honestly i just put it on you know before i applied makeup and i just didn't pay attention really to the packaging or what brand it was or whatever and um so i can't even tell you what brand i had been using but i do love this one and i think it's better because this feels really light my other one felt heavier after i put it on like heavier um like on my face and this is just super light and i think it's just a perfect primer so this is a product that i will definitely be picking up again after i am finished with it and finally, I wanted to share about this Walita Skin Food. This product is actually not new to us. I first saw it in another YouTube mom's Vitacost haul and it just sounded so good and it's made from some wonderful ingredients. So I told my husband about it. We bought some. We actually bought the larger version. This version right here is only one ounce and the larger version I believe is at least like three times as big. So that is the one we bought. We used it. We loved it. We bought it again and I actually recommend it to people. So it's a fabulous product. It's different than traditional lotion because this one, this skin food, you actually have to sort of massage into your skin. But once you get it in there, it makes your skin feel nice and smooth. And it's also great if you have some particularly rough patches on your skin or some like dry spots that don't wanna like clear up with regular lotion, you might wanna try this product out. It is something that we just love and we will buy again and again. 
So these are the products that I got through Octoly. Now I'm going to show you just two more quick things and then wrap up this video. Okay, and the last couple of things that I wanted to share with you are these two products from Revlon. The folks that work with Revlon actually sent these to me. As you can see, they sent me some extra large hair bands, which I am really excited about because I use hair bands in my hair every single day. I always sleep with one in my hair, and then I love using these throughout the day, just when I'm doing everyday things here at home. And then over here, they sent me these double grip clips, and I will be using these for Elizabeth. If you guys have seen her in my videos, you know that she is my four-year-old daughter and she absolutely loves to have little clips in her hair, but the ones that we have right now just don't work very well. While they are cute, they fall out constantly or they rust really easy actually, or they just don't, they just don't hold uh, very well. So we're constantly having to fix her hair and fix her clips and things like that, but we shouldn't have that problem with these ones. So I am super excited about these and I am gonna go ahead and pop one out and put one in her hair just as soon as I finish this video. So that's it guys, that's all I have to share today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.